Good glorious morning. I want to just go through my setup today of engineering design and creation. So here is what I've done. I've created some enclosures. And so I've taken and built a base enclosure, which is this guy. And then I created this enclosure. And then I put this enclosure into this enclosure. And then I realized that the door was wrong, so I had to fix the door. And then I took this enclosure and I put it into this enclosure to detail out the satin finish stainless that I wanted for the finish. So I'm gonna show you that. And I know everyone who's doing SolidWorks will say, hey, oh, you've got red stuff in there and that's terrible. You know what, it's an equation issue. I don't care because all I'm doing is rendering. So I brought this in to render. I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna say no. Oh. And so here is my setup, which I'm not going to tweak right now. Everything is set and I've got my brightness and rotation and I've got my advance and my gamma and my rotation set. So everything was cool. I rendered that bad boy out. It finished. So I've got the render and then I opened it up in Photoshop. From Photoshop, I'm going to take and trim out with my magic wand tool holding the shift key down. I'm just gonna grab everything I don't want. If you do Photoshop, you know this, you probably do it better than I do. And so I'm gonna grab, I know I could have adjusted my tolerance and fixed that, but I don't care. And boom, so there is, oh, missed a corner, got that. And then I'm gonna hit delete. And I already preset the color, so now I have white and I'm gonna do an inverse selection. So that looks great. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and make a tiny little stroke on the edge of the enclosure so it pops. And so to do that, I'm gonna undo because I still need that. So I'm gonna inverse selection. And then I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. Then I'm gonna come in, edit, stroke, and uh, I don't want that dark where it's just gray it a little bit because I want it to pop. Make sure it's in the center and probably give it a two pixel pop. Now, control. Now, now, now. Look at that. Oop. And you can see I got a little trail off there, so I'm going to have to delete that. And grab my eraser tool. And I need a bigger size. So, some. Oh, why are we not seeing? Oh, oh. If you ever wonder why you don't see the circle when you have the eraser tool on, it's because your caps lock key is on. And so when you hit cap lock, you just get the little plus, but I need to see the whole tool so I can raise everything. And I don't like it. I'm gonna take the stroke off. Did I get it? I got it. Now I'm gonna delete this. Oop, not that. And uh, I want to fix this guy, so. I'm not gonna get too creative in this. Uh, uh, what tool? Let me, in the patch. And it will, it will just, quite a little patch, like that. How's that? Oh, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna do another little patch. Oops, get that. And probably one more because I got a little bug there. there. Got it. So that's fixed. And it's a little, it's a little remnant of uh, a different handle that I had in there. But this is what I want. So this is looking good. I'm gonna crop this. Boom. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Crop this. Crop this. Crop this and enter and then we're going to do an auto color so i get kind of a oh it's really blue it's really dark i don't know if i like that i'm going to do i'm going to do it manually so uh let's just tweak that don't tweak the contrast up a little bit and then we're going to come in and say adjustments and i want my channel mixer and i want blue and I'm just gonna bring this up five, maybe six, maybe seven. I like that. We're gonna save. Get that. And 
We'll pop open Illustrator. Once Illustrator's open, I'll get it loaded up and show you what it looks like. All right, so I want to replace this guy with my new one. So I'm going to say file and, oh, why, why, why couldn't we place? There we go. And I'm going to place it. It's really, really small. Why is it so small? I don't know why it's so small. We're going to make that guy really too big. Um, maybe 15. And holding the shift key down. Whoop. Holding the shift key down, I can scale it. Gosh, I should I should have cropped that more. I may need to do that. Eh, it might fit. Uh, it's pretty close, but it's like it's still red. Maybe it was better blue. Man. Okay. So let's go swap back to Photoshop. I'm just gonna try and auto color it. And we'll hit save and see. I don't like that. It's, it's like too dark. So we'll go back to here. It's it it's too red. It's like it's red. I don't like that. So we're gonna fix it. It's too red. Image uh, undo. Image adjustments channel mixer. I don't like the red. Let's make this 95. Uh, it's not good. I don't like that. What do you do? What to do? What to do? Image adjustments, channel mixer. Here. Um, change this to blue. Um, oh, it's not, it's not good. It's, I don't know what happened. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. I think. I I found a way to take a little bit of the red out, so I'm going to desaturate it just a little bit. Just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more blue. And I adjusted the shadows out by going to image and adjustments and shadows. So I tweaked this and I'm going to save it. And we're going to take a look and see if it's not better. Ah, it's better. That's better. I like that. Okay, with the exception of. I should crop it a little bit more. That's fine. Let's just squish it down a little bit so I don't have to fight with it on my names and such. So we're cropping and applying. Something like that. And then we're gonna bring this to the front. Range, bring to front. And I'll have to rename that because it's not proper. Get rid of this guy. And Maybe make this just a little bit bigger. And that, my friends, is how you prepare uh, a render for a banner in SolidWorks and Adobe and everything else. <laughs>